the very first thing about the Red Barn that I loved was the people. I mean, they, everyone here has just been tremendously kind and compassionate and joyful all the time, every time we come. So as a, a mom, you love your child deeply and you want other people to see value in your children just like you do. And coming to the Red Barn has been um, great to see other people love her the way that I want her to be loved. To, for her to hear, we're so happy to see you and for someone to say to her, like you are the highlight of my week. I'm one of the instructors at the Red Barn and I have the pleasure of being Ella's instructor. She's an awesome student, and when she first started, she was really fearful of every little movement. And over the years, she has progressed to be an amazing rider. She's well on her way to being an independent rider. The funnest part of my day is at the end of her lessons, when she's done really well, is to see a huge smile on her face. And she just brings tears to our eyes because of who she is, and everybody on her team adores her. Not only that I love my child, but I see them loving and filling her in a way that I never could. And so it's not just the people that we see on Fridays, it's all the volunteers that come and do this and the people that are supporting the Red Barn, they're all filling Ella in a way that's just incredible. Uh, there's a, a verse in the Bible that says, and I'll put on all of this love. And so for us, the rest of it's putting on top of what she needs every day this is not just just writing, but now for her, but it's relationships that will last for a lifetime. When I first got here, I was really excited and nervous, but when I came here, everyone was just so excited to see me and happy that I was coming here, and I loved that about here, coming. We learn from her every day. I know that we're here to serve others, but what our students bring to us is just beyond words of how much love they give us and, and what they do for our lives. That's why I work at the Red Barn.